Hello dudes and dudettes, welcome to a brand new series guys, we're going to be playing all the mods 6 to the sky, it's basically all the mods 6, but it's to the sky, so without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get this party parted. Alright, so we spawned here on our little island here, we're going to try to punch these leaves and the wood as we go down to try to get some saplings. I'd like at least one, otherwise we're going to be in a world of hurt. Uh, normally we do get at least one, so I really hope that we get that. Okay, we got, ooh, that's kind of sketchy. We do have the one that we needed. Come on, can we get two? Yeah, no, not two yet. Oh, yep, we got two, perfect. Ooh, we even got three. Oh, I almost went for that, that would have killed us. All right, now that we've gotten to the bottom of this tree, uh, we can go ahead and create a crafting table and all that, do the stuff. But I uh, want to show you guys the quest line. It's pretty awesome here. Uh, just like a, a welcome to the pack. Just go ahead and check all these if you're playing along. All right, with all of these checked, you should get like an enderpearl, a couple other things. And then what we're going to be focusing on next is if you just shift right click the grass you can make these pebbles and these will turn into cobblestone bam look at that we already got eight we didn't really do a whole lot of work for it too isn't that pretty neat so if we go back here you can see that we got it and even got some experience for up to 14 levels uh so yeah just keep checking all these these are just gonna walk you through what's going on but we're not really here to do that this is just telling you all the cool, neat things. It even says you have the anti-hostile torch and then the anti-passive mobs, which prevents like uh, passive mobs like cheap cows and all of them, all of them weirdos to spawn. So we're gonna be making the basics for Minecraft here. Just a crafting table in the ground and then some slabs to go around. All right, we got a, a ring of cobblestone around our little area here. I'm going to go ahead and make a pickaxe uh, and a couple other things. We're going to be, oops, not like this. We need to actually make some more sticks and create a builder's wand because this guy is super duper helpful for extending out our base. Because we're going to need a section of the base so that we can go ahead and put in a cobblestone uh, generator for the time being. Because this method here, while it is, uh, you know, we don't really need to do anything. We just cl uh, shift right click. We do get pebbles, uh, but it's not really a, a good alternative. So, as you can see, we do have a lava bucket here and some ice. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pretty much use up all of these and kind of go out this way. So let's do that. Okay, so we've got a bit of space here. We need some more cobble uh, because unfortunately if we try to place any like water um, on, oh, actually we don't really need to, but we're gonna, all right, this, this will suffice, perfect, okay. So, we are going to put this probably here. I know we are wasting those slabs. Don't worry. They are, in fact, a waste. Okay. So, we're going to bring this across here. Okay, and then we want the water to only travel one block and cut over like so. All right, we break this, water flows in, we place the lava here, it flows in, and this is where the cobblestone is generated. Super duper easy, bro. Standing platform, standing platform, 
And now you can AFK, and if you point it in the right spot, you don't mind anything behind it. So you just sit here, go AFK for a bit, and you're all good to go. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is place a little safety slab. And the reason we don't place it like directly above it is so that we can get a little bit of light through. You know, it's probably not a bad idea. We'll probably lose less cobble if we just do this. So I'm going to do it. Let's see. So it should like bounce off the top. We're going to test this out real quick. Okay. We haven't, one, we haven't had one go. Oh, yep. That did, in fact, save that piece. So yeah, that was a worthy investment. So there we go. We have our... Our cobblestone generator all set up and good to go. Now we can't, oop. We can go ahead and grow some trees here. We just kind of dance around. Ooh, two of them grew. Perfect. Okay, so we do have a little bit of wood and sticks left. We can make a crook. And then I'm going to go ahead and make an axe because we desperately need these. Okay. So the crook will give us silkworms, more saplings and stuff. It just It's almost like we're fortuning it. So, yeah, we definitely, definitely want that, wanted that. But we got the silkworms too. Okay, so what we're going to do uh, with the silkworms is we are actually just going to grow one tree like this. And now that it's grown, we're going to take these silkworms, and it's actually pretty important you place these on the outside uh, because these will spread to the other leaves. I might be able to show you here. And say if this one and this one were to switch over to this, the infested leaves, uh, this would despawn because it doesn't have a link to the wood. So it's important that you try to do the outside first. Like these, this one might despawn. Nope, it was transferred over fast enough, which is good. So we're going to let this transition over to uh, the infested tree, and then we'll do some, uh, we'll hit it with the crook. All right, and now that that has moved, or all these have been switched over to the infested leaves, we're just going to go ahead, vein mine these, and we get string Super duper cool. We need another crook. Perfect. And if we look here, one, two, three, we now have a bed. Sweet, huh? Okay, let's go back here. If we look, I believe, yeah, it's, so we got the wood. Ooh, this gives us an, a bone axe. We got the cobble. This gives us that. This gives us shiny pink crook, the meal, or the silkworms, and the bed. So now we have a sleeping bag. Uh, so we're going to kind of put everything in here for the time being. So pickaxe, this guy, this guy. We have a good, a decent food source, kind of a renewable one. And the cool thing is, is whenever. We need to sleep. We just click this on the ground, <clears throat> and then it uh, like automatically sleeps for us, and then it'll break when we wake up. So super duper cool. But yeah, uh, there we go. We got those quests done. Uh, now it's wanting us to make some string meshes. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and do that now. Super easy. Just a three by three of string gives us the mesh. If we look here, we got it. It wants us to make the flint mesh. We're going to work on that in a bit. We need to make the hammer here and the compressed hammer. Uh, so we do need some cobblestone and some more sticks. We need a total of 18 sticks. This will give us nine hammers, which is good. Hit U for uses, and we can make the compressed one. This just mines faster. I don't know if it actually has an increased durability. Um, I think it's F3H for advanced tool. Oh, they were shown. So we can't really see them. So yeah, that's it, full. OK, it's becoming nighttime. Let's go ahead and sleep. All right. 
And so we have this made. Got some spruce saplings, very cool. And we're gonna turn some cobblestone into gravel. And what we're gonna wanna go ahead and do is also make a wand because this will automatically place blocks that we need. And then we just vein mine these. We get gravel. We vein mine these. We get sand. We almost lost them. We vein mine these and we get dust, which is everything that we need. Bam. Cool. And we get this cool pedestal that we can put this uh, dust devil on and we can display it. Look, oh, I hit C. Not supposed to do that. Looks pretty cool. So now that that's done, let's move our attention over to here, which is the sieve. It's gone. All right, this guy just takes uh, four wood, one slab, and two sticks. Two, count them, two sticks. I almost lost the crafting table because I put it under there. All right. There we go. And we can just put this guy here and like that. And then we can we can throw this guy here. And we can sift for things. We're not going to get a whole lot. We got some bone meal. Isn't that pretty neat? So we're actually going to save the rest of this dust for later. And now we're going to take... The remaining amount of cobblestone, turn it into slabs, and then we're going to build out another side to this. All right, and then now we are going to move this guy over to here. All right, this is going to be the center, and we're going to make a, a bunch of these. We're going to make a, a five by five area. All right, and with these two, we have the five by five grid made. Uh, now all we need to do is just get a whole bunch of trees grown here, and we will be able uh, to, you know, do the whole silkworm conversion and convert these all into the the meshes. A special thanks to our friends over at MC Pro Hosting for sponsoring our modded and vanilla fan servers. You can play on both of those free of charge by joining our Discord server, link in the description. If you need a server in the future, I highly recommend MC Pro Hosting. Use code Turtle Club in the checkout to get a 15% off your first month. More details in the description below. Alright guys, so I grew some pretty big trees as you can see. We still got some left over there. We'll get it later. Uh, but yeah, I have a lot of string in my inventory. Uh, probably a bit more than I thought I did. Uh, so we're going to get this here. And we only need 25 of these guys, so I do need to make some more room. And we're probably going to need a bigger chest. Okay, we might have wasted a little bit of string making all these. I won't need these or this much later. We'll just use the string mesh we have. So we're going to chuck these over the edge and say goodbye forever. All right, so as you see here, we got all of this mesh made up. It's a 5x5, five five, so we have 25 different sieves here. Uh, so next, we're going to go ahead and convert a bunch of this um, cobblestone into gravel. Gravel is the one that we're going to want first. Uh, yeah. So these only allow you to do nine at a time. That's okay. We can just do it like that. Ooh. <laughs> uh, we kind of messed that up a little bit. Let's see if we can fix it without breaking it. Okay, goes in. So the water should be done. Stand here. 
stand here. And then... Think... I think that fixes it. It kind of does. If we do that, it fixes it. <sighs> I'm pretty sure we can recover from this. Okay, so how do we fix this? Well, uh, the best way to do it is to make a crucible. We're going to be skipping a few steps here, so you guys should probably try to hang along. It's going to be a little bit of a longer episode, which is good for you guys. Uh, so let's get this guy filled up. Um, we, need, we, we need more water. Uh, that's making dirt. We need to make a barrel, a wooden barrel. This guy creates water. We need to make an infinite water source. Do that. We'll fill this guy up. Okay, so this is turning the leaves into water. Uh, so we let that process. We got, yay, we got dirt. I made that by. Okay, I'm going to let this process. We'll be right back. Okay, while we wait, we can go ahead and grab a quest here real quick. Okay, we got cobblestone from that one. Uh, we can go ahead and process up our gravel. Hopefully, we get some flint. We got lots of flint. Perfect. Okay. So lots of flint. Um, what we will be doing is creating a mesh and upgrading it to the flint here. Okay. So there should be a quest that gives us quite a bit of stuff, like uh, Huh, did we not get any bone meal? We have one. We do need to make some more dirt. Uh, we do have a bit of cobblestone to do that. Okay. That was weird. Okay, we got the dust. We're going to try to get some more bone meal. Got one more. Ooh, not looking too good. And it's done. Perfect. So we have a water bucket in here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do here is grab a couple of these guys. We're going to make some half slabs. All right. And then on the back side of this, uh, we're going to go ahead. Two, three. One, two, three. Bam. And bam. So we're also going to go ahead and have to remove these guys as well. And replace these with full blocks. Alright, so one there and one here. And now we have an infinite water source. So we can come over here to this guy, fill it up with water, and then take some dust that we have in here and turn it into clay. And we only need two of these. 
fill it up, and then we got the clay. So I did process some more dust over here in this, just breaking up more of the cobblestone and the gravel and then sand it that. And we just turn it into here. Then we do this to get the porcelain clay. Then we do this to get the unfired crucible. And then all we need is a furnace. Legadis. Hello. And then we can smelt this bad boy up. All right, and then once that's done, we're gonna need to smelt up one charcoal. All right, there we go. And we just put the that there, and now we have torches. So I am first off going to spawn proof this over here. We'll put the torches over there in a second. We only need two more, I think. Eh, we need three more. Yeah. And then, cool thing is where this is, we can just go ahead, put the fire crucible right above it. And all we need to do now is fill this up with cobblestone. And this will start to create lava. Now, it won't be very fast, uh, but we, we can go ahead and uh, just let this process up. We'll be able to place some lava back down here. And we'll be able to get our, our cobblestone farm back up and working. And doing that did unlock a few quests for us. Yes, we got the crucible here. Uh, we got some dirt for that. Uh, that's kind of nice. Let's see. Storage. Yep, we got a chest here. Cool. We can go to drawers, upgrade here, go that way. Eventually get into applied energistics or refined storage. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to go AFK for a bit. We're going to let this process up into lava. going to put it back here, and then I'm probably going to go AFK for a bit uh, mining cobblestone. All right, dudes, look at this. We got the lava in here. Place it like that, and bam. We have recovered from a disaster. <laughs> All right, so the cool thing about this is that uh, if you have a pickaxe in your inventory and the pickaxe in your hand breaks, it will automatically refill it. So what you can go ahead and do is set it up so that you have quite a few... Um, Quite a few pickaxes in your inventory, and then you just kind of, oops, I messed up. You just kind of mine. So we're going to go ahead and do that for a bit here, and then uh, we'll go ahead and start uh, processing everything up. And the way I do this, guys, is I go into controls here. I set this to the zero key, and then I normally use my Xbox One controller because I find that it has a lot of weight, and I can just set it right on the key with one of the little uh, handles that comes off, and I just... Like, I'm not touching the mouse now. I just start mining, and then I go, like, get some water or uh, go do something else. So I'm going to be doing this for a bit, so I'll be back when it's all done. All right, guys, so this is the loot of our haul here. As you can see, we have quite a few stacks of cobblestone. Very, very happy with the uh, the, the amount of cobblestone we got from that. Uh, so just going to turn a few of these into, like, a stone pickaxe. Uh, let's see here. Whoops, did it a little bit wrong. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make some hammers, like so, uses, big hammer boy, uh, and then I'm actually going to try the smaller hammers as well. I don't know the durability we have, if it's any different, uh, it doesn't really tell me. Which is kind of lame, but we're going to go ahead and uh, get this farty parted. We do need a little bit more wood so we can make some wands. Is there like a, a better wand that we can make? Like a like a compact wand, kind of like we're doing the compact hammer? Nah, I'm, I feel foolish. Uh, but that makes it indestructible. We definitely don't want to use that on it. All right, so we're going to make up a few, a few of these. All right. So we're going to use you, you, and you. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to build a little platform out for us as well so that we can do this kind of in peace. Is. 
Um, let's see, just three out from here. All right. All right, so we got a little platform made over here. Uh, we could fix this pretty easily by just moving all of the torches in by one block. Uh, but let's not worry too much about that. Uh, and then we're going to take this all the way back here, like so. And then we can start uh, building it up. Oh, we broke. We already broke one of those. Dang. So I did use it prior when building the platform. So it kind of makes sense. Okay, we have a lot there. All right, and then we're just going to be turning uh, this into gravel because gravel is what produces the, um, the the flint we have to go ahead and upgrade all of our our sieves. As you can see, we got a lot of it over here. Yeah, we even got some more too. Perfect. OBKB. So we use these up, no problemo. Is that all the gravel we have? Yep. And how much do we need? So 25 times 6, I believe, is 125. Or no, I believe it's 150. So we need 150 flint to upgrade all of these. So I'm going to be smashing these up into gravel. Uh, once I have all that done, we'll sift it up and we'll uh, create all of the flint meshes. All right, so we did a bunch of processing here. As you can see, all the cobblestone's pretty much out of my inventory. We have just two more. We have 152 here, uh, so we can go ahead and upgrade all of these guys. So pretty happy about that. Uh, okay, don't do that. Oh yeah, we did. We did lose those. They just decided that they didn't want to be on the platform anymore. All right, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can make we can make more string mesh, no problem. It's just a little inconvenient now. Uh, okay. So, gonna go ahead and upgrade all of these to the flint, and then once we're back, or once we get that done, I'll be right back. All right, and with that, it's just the final two. I ended up having a couple of these. Uh, we we had already made one for the, um, the I guess the the task. Oh, we still need one more frick. Um, well, it looks like I'm making it with you guys here. Uh, let's see. Yep. So we're just we didn't need to do a couple of those. But yeah, we are upgraded to flint now, which means we can start getting ores, uh, from our, um, from our, our our sieves here. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and extend these out a couple more blocks so that we don't lose any more preciousness. Preciousness. Uh, I think just one more block will be okay. That way we don't lose any more. And we can come down here. And here we go. Ooh, look at all those. And there we go. Jeez, that's a lot of stuff. Cool. Um, we have our five by five guys done. We got ores. Look at all that iron that we got. Guys, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you all did enjoy the video. A bit of a long one, but uh, we are getting started. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.